Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy 12. Where I hope I'm being loud enough for the microphone to pick up. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm back at least temporarily. Um as I said before in a previous video, opening this game up does bring back some memories um, of my dog, which might seem silly, but it does. Um, but <laughs> I have really missed this game, and I, I watched um, <laughs> I watched a uh, a bit of my videos the other night. And, uh, this is right, that's right, I remember, I don't have to use my mouse at all, that's so nice actually. Cause I'm, as I've hopefully explained in another video, um, I'm playing in a hotel currently. Um, and, oh sorry Ash. <laughs> um, so I have to be quieter, but I also, my setup is a lot more uncomfortable. But this is nice because I can just, uh, put my keyboard on my lap and play like this. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you though, okay, that's, okay, I was like, I couldn't remember for a second where we're supposed to go. Luckily, I'm pretty sure we're like right at the beginning of a puzzle, or of a, not a puzzle, a, uh, words, um, dungeon E type area, and from what I saw, See, and I'm trying to make sure I remember all the buttons and I seem like I'm muscle memorying my way through. Yes. So, well, we could probably take out Ash. Balthier is behind. Poor guy. Uh, we'll bring Vaughn. Oh, look at all those points they have. Oh my gosh, look at all those points Pinello has. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, like I what? Like I was saying, it's been about four months since I played. So luckily, I, I feel like I was just starting to get the hang of things. Not luckily, rather. I feel like I was just starting to get the hang of things. Yes. In Final Fantasy XII. And now, oh, that's not that's not me. Um, now. <laughs> this is this is essentially a metaphor for how I feel. Now I feel like I have to start all over almost, but luckily I have pretty good tactics um, done up. It's just a matter of me trying to remember, you know, I'm sure I had stuff I was kind of working towards, you know. Um, yeah. Like a com like not just combos, but like spells I needed to buy and, you know, licenses I needed to buy and all this stuff, so. But luckily I remember that I can sell it. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory of things to sell. Um, if I ever need them. Ooh, nice. Okay, good. Both of yours not too far behind. Oh, Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn. You're too close. Anyway, I one of the reasons I've been wanting to play is because um, my a couple of my friends have been trying to get me to play Final Fantasy XIV, the online game, and I tried for like two hours total in the last couple of days to get it to work. Can't get the free demo to work to save my life. Um, it's just unnecessarily complicated. So I've kind of given up on that, but I think the single player version is better. Anyway, can we? Oh, okay. As the gaming gods intended, I shall play single player. These, I know I think I mentioned it in a recent video, but they build on such a grandiose scale. Is that like a like a Dutch hound? And that's like a cat. That Dutch hound's got like a like a oh it's like a ram. It's 
It's got like a flute in its mouth. A little, well, not a flute. Um, a whistle, like a big, big whistle. Not a hammock. A big whistle. Oh, I was like, we just got magics. Oh, dang, Canelo's just, just rolling in the XP and the points. Anyway, I know, I know I usually edit this stuff out at least a little bit, but since it's my first time recording this in forever, I want to hang out a bit. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> now, the last two videos were old recordings, as they said. Um, so yeah, this is me being back, and I know we're trying. So we're trying to get this. We're trying to get the sword that can break Nethesite. I watched part of what episode was it? Four forty-five. I watched part of four forty-five, and then I watched. Yeah. No, no, I watched part of four forty-six, and then all of four forty-seven and four forty-eight. So I have a general idea of what we're doing. I just hope I hope I wasn't like having these like grandiose tactical plans. I don't think I was. There are probably some spells I could get. For Pinello especially. I think this is gonna kill me if she isn't she isn't. Yeah, it's making me better. I think if we and we spent a lot of time, from what I remember, leveling up. Oh, jeez, you have like speed or something. Leveling up like armor and weapons and all that. Ready, scream. Oh, jeez. I'm stuck. I don't know why I'm freaking taking a ball for years, taking all the damage. Like, I don't think they're aggroing onto me, even though, well, I do aggro them. <laughs> Just by being in the, by virtue of me being in the front. Oh, should I? Oh no, okay, this is a good squad. Everybody's level 23 except Pinello, who is an outlier and shouldn't be counted. Because I. Oh no. Hang on. Weak to win. I don't have any win. Yes. Pinello's got something. Oh, come on. I used the immobilizers a tiny bit too slow. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Pinello. She's, she is raising him. Goodness gracious. Oh, we have to do like that. Is he? No, okay, we didn't have revive though. Right. Their health pools are like yeah. so big. But they are disabled, they are not able to take actions right now. Well, except for lunge, apparently. Oh my gosh, Pinello's dead. Oh no, okay.
I also, um, I may not be able to explain this in the video, um, but I, what, Vaughn died? Oh my gosh. I currently don't have Sorry. I don't have working headphones. So I just have to do this. Are we reviving? Yeah, okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to be able to get this off. These balloons are mean. I can't now. Yeah. Let's see how a fresh squad does. So hopefully there isn't too much, um, ooh, um, like, uh, echo is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Where are they? They're weak to water. Well, that went quickly. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, does Ash have her vibe? Oh, now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm going the wrong way. I should have maybe gone south when I came in instead of going this roundabout way. Cause that's gonna take me back out. I don't want to go back outside. I think. I think I want to go inside, but... Now that I look at it though, I think I might need to get in here to get to that, like, fast travel point in there. Which would then maybe take me to that one? Maybe? Cause it, doesn't, it wouldn't make sense otherwise, really. To have us go all these different roundabout ways. There's something over here. what it is, but I'm going to look at it. Is a bazooka a musical instrument? Not a bazooka. What is it called? Is it a bazooka? There's bazookas. That's what it looks like. It looks like a bazooka. Oh, good. Oh, I mean, Ward of Fire should have told me something, right? Oh boy, oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not ready. I'm just a baby. Oh my gosh. My metallic equipment grows heavy. Well, good thing the crossbow isn't metallic. Uh, but, uh, let's see. What do you mean, no target available? Let's see. Well, it's magnetic. Oh 
my gosh. And we essentially have slow cast on us. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can shuffle right now, but you know. a lot of damage. Well, I'll pull Penella out. Look how epic they look. I'll pull Penella out if she can cure petrification. Oh my gosh, he has a spear animation. That's hilarious. He definitely did not do that with the sword. Thank you. I am I am quite pleased myself. Look at that. Look at us go. Uh Well now I am curious as to what lies further. Oh, nothing maybe? Come on. A sage's ring. Okay, and a door. I should I should save. Oh I can't save. Read the inscription. Face ye that blade with relic bearer, join your filthy swear to me. Okay, I remember seeing this in... Oh, nice. Okay. I remember seeing one of these braves in the video, I think, that I... One of the videos I did fairly recently. And I wonder... Okay, that's what, the, that's what the little icon is for. Okay. I think. Let's see. Here, here. Yeah, okay. Um, well, the sword should be down here somewhere. So I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna turn it out or down I guess I should 
probably go switch the other one. But there's three of them. Yeah, Guardians 3. I've only found... Get me out. I've only found two. Interesting, though. That's cool. At least I hope I'm right. If not, I'll have to run around and, you know, mess with things. Look stuff up, because I'm no coward. <laughs> This is a shortcut. No, it's not. I just realized I'm recording this video in like 1080p. Probably 30 frames per second. Which is not going to be normal going forward. Because this game doesn't really need that. But I just realized I'm recording with my Mass Effect settings. My Mass Effect Legendary Edition settings. So. That's something to remember. It's been a while since I've um, recorded two different games at the same time. Oh, there's the third one. Okay, I was kind of curious. The, the place where it's at is kind of where I was thinking about heading because it was similar to the shape as where the other the other statues were and I wasn't but I just wasn't sure if I'd been there or not because it was technically like filled in um but so it just does that kind of proximity it doesn't necessarily mean that you were there you know but I did want to see what was down this little this dead end hallway here uh, looks like there's just some loot down here hopefully it's good loot because we've been finding all these these doodads down here but I, and I was also kind of thinking, I was like, oh, I did kind of at least get close enough to that area where the, where the statue is to maybe trigger it, but I did not. Not until now. Oh, dang. Cure myself. An Ashura, I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure it's exciting though. I mean, it sounds exciting. Caramel. Oh, nice. That'll be good. A hunting crossbow. I think I already got really good gear and stuff. Good weapons and armor, but... I can at least sell it. Maybe that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Oh, wouldn't that be unfortunate? Well, since I have no other way forward, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> okay, so apparently this dungeon is potentially more complicated than I anticipated. <laughs> um, I don't recognize any of the names. Uh, at least not many of them. I wonder if I've done it in a wrong order, but... Um, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm already in an area that so far doesn't have a section on this, but anyway, um, this might be a short episode, but I just wanted to say thank you all for watching, and oh, before I forget, it's been a while since I've done this, but this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my Patreons. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for still supporting me, uh, especially now that, I don't know, things are kind of weird with me living in a hotel already and having it paid for so like the whole goal of the patron patreon to like help me be able to pay for hotel rooms is kind of moot at this point for now um but with this job being up in the air kind of and potentially gonna be canceled i don't know it's a little stressful but i appreciate your support deeply um regardless so thank you to scalawonger who's a sapling patron and thank you so much to Reese Galito, who is also a sapling patron. Your guys' support really means a lot to me, and if nothing else, will help me be able to buy groceries this winter. And it really does help me make videos, <laughs> not having that stress, you know? So I appreciate you guys a lot. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree patron, who is extra special, awesome, and cool. And and I really appreciate it. I don't know if any of you actually, now that I think about it, will be watching Final Fantasy since you all, I think, watch my Mass Effect series right now. Um, but if you do happen to see this, thank you so much for popping in on this video. It's been a while since I've done a Final Fantasy one. So thank you all for uh, putting up, all of you for watching, for whoever came back and watched this this long. I appreciate you. So thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next one.